Hey there YouTube, I'm Bubbins, and if you watch all of my Warframe videos, you probably know where I'm going with this already. I did a video on the cheapest Prime Warframes in the game, all of which were like astoundingly cheap, like way cheaper than I ever expected. I also did a video where I sorted every single Platinum Purchase Bundle, including Prime Access, discounts, etc. So today I wanted to combine those two ideas. To this day, I'm still waiting for my 75% discount to make it a reality, but that doesn't mean you have to wait too. In short, I have a plan to buy every Prime Warframe in the game for as cheap as possible. The question is, how much will it cost? Between the Platinum discount and reduced prices on Warframe market, just how cheap will it get? Let's start in 2013. First up, we have Frost. Mag, and Ember. Since buying individual parts is usually cheaper than buying a full set from one person, convenience is oftentimes expensive, we'll be planning on buying each piece individually from various vendors on Warframe.market. For now, I took the median price of each item as of April 29th, 2023, and again, this is assuming we purchased the 4,300 Platinum Bundle at a 75% discount for a total of $50. In short, this means that we have 86 Platinum per dollar. Frost is the most expensive here, costing more than a dollar, but Mag and Ember are cheap at about 80 cents each. In total, that's just two and a half dollars. Let's see how this continues as we go along for 2014. This year there was Rhino, Loki, Nyx, and Nova. With some recent unvaultings, Rhino Prime is only 55 cents these days. Loki and Nova do manage to approach a full dollar, but in total this year costs less than three bucks. For those two years, our total is only five dollars and 64 cents. 2015, Bolt, Ash, and Trinity. We encounter our most expensive and our cheapest frame so far. Ash is nearly $2, but Trinity costs less than 50 cents. In total, another three bucks, bringing us just under nine total. Still not bad. 10 Prime Warframes for under $10. In 2016, it finally starts to ramp up a bit. We have Saren, Faban, Necros, and Valkyr. More releases and more expensive as a whole. All but Valkyr will set you back at least a dollar, bringing this year up to $4.50. Thus far, making it so that we have spent $13.37. Nice. 2017 was the year of Banshee, Oberon, Hydroid, and Mirage. Thankfully, this group is much cheaper all available for less than $3 total, bringing us up to $16 spent so far. And before you ask, yes, I am tracking total platinum spent as well. So far that is 1,389 plat. We still have lots left from our purchase. 2018, Zephyr, Limbo, Chroma, and Mesa. We get cheaper still. In fact, this is the cheapest year yet costing one cent less than the 2013 group. While the overall cost is slowly climbing up, we're at about $19 so far and have theoretically purchased 22 Prime Warframes. 2019, Equinox, Wukong, Atlas, and Ivara. I want you all to imagine how long it takes to grind these frames, at least a few hours each, right? So you can either spend those hours grinding, or in this case, spend $2.43 to get all four blueprints. You'll of course still need to get the materials, level up and optimize your builds, but at this price point, it's hard not to argue that it's worth the money if you have it to spare. I know a lot of folks will argue that it ruins the point of the game, but I barely have time to optimize all these builds, let alone simply unlock the frames. After this, we are sitting at 1,833 Platinum spent, which is about $21. In 2020, we're back down to three frames, 
Titania, Inaros, and Nidus. This one is even cheaper, only a dollar and fifty cents. It really is criminal how cheap all of these are. Go pick them up. 2021, Octavia, Gara, Nidus, and Harrow. At this point, we have finally used up half of the platinum we purchased with another $2 spent, bringing us to an even $25. There are only five more frames to go. The price is still pretty low. 2022, Garuda, Korra, Revenant, and Baruch. So here we are, every Prime War frame in the game, except Hildren, who we'll add on in a second, for only $27. It's wild, honestly, especially considering how expensive Regal Aya is in comparison. And finally, in 2023, we only have Hildren at the moment, who costs 59 Platinum right now. In total, you can purchase every Prime Warframe in the game, at least on PC, for under $30 worth of Platinum when you have the right discount. Yes, we spent $50 up front to get that much, so you have some leftover Platinum. But sadly, the $100 bundle does not provide enough Platinum for our needs, so we were forced to buy the biggest bundle. Now I just need to wait for that elusive 75% discount. One day, they'll give it to me. Obviously, if this isn't your thing, by all means, grind away. But as someone who doesn't have a ton of time, I would rather spend time optimizing and playing and building my frames than I would unlocking them. $27 to do all that is honestly worth it once I get my discount. Without a discount, it would cost about four times as much, which is like $110. I suppose if you have enough money for that, you could also do that and not wait. You could also have it to like 60 bucks if you have a 50% discount. Ultimately, it's all up to you. It is surprisingly cheap to get every single Prime Warframe, and it is something I will be doing at some point. Before I sign off, I wanted to ask something really quickly. As you all know, my Patreon comes with some perks, including getting my weekly video schedule sent your way and monthly channel updates. One thing I was considering adding, if anyone is interested, is access to all of the spreadsheets that I put together. I'm big on tracking the data behind my videos, putting that together and digesting it, kind of reading it. Uh, so in theory, I could share them with you so you don't have to scrub through my videos every single time you want to reference them. Let me know. It wouldn't take a bunch of effort to add, but uh, I don't want to add it unless people care. Uh, as always, please make sure to leave a like or subscribe. As a growing channel, it really does make a huge difference. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to directly support the channel, there is a Patreon linked in the description below, or you can become a channel member right here on YouTube. For now though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.